Happy Friday everyone. I'm Ann Burchard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to be using high tide and a technique that was taught to us by Karen Paulsney. So thank you Karen. It's a wonderful technique and this is the card that we're going to be making. We're going to be using the Fluid 100 watercolor paper and again I will list all of the supplies I used today in the description box. So head down there if you do to see what I've used. So let's make a card. We're going to start off with the watercolor paper and you can choose the rougher side or the smoother side. I think I'll just go with that one. And you need to have paper towels ready and a spritzer and mine is filled with water. The colors I'm going to be using are Night of Navy, Pacific Point, and Balmy Blue. So let me get these open up. You're also going to need a block or even some acetate, some, some wrapping, you know that plastic wrapping, you can use that as well. So I'm going to be using, I think this is the eye block. I'm going to pick up a little Night of Navy doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be spritzing it with water. Then our next one, which is Pacific Point, add a little bit to that. And then the last one is Balmy Blue, and we'll add that down here on the bottom. Now, the next step is take your spritzer and you're going to spritz it and I'm going to move off camera because I don't want to get my table wet. Give it a couple of squirts so you start seeing the, it starts bubbling up and it starts blending. Get this out of the way and I'm going to go portrait and I've got water already. And you just place it down, pick it up, place it down, pick it up. And you can put as much or as little as you want. And I think I'm going to stop there. Get my towel, wipe up, and also my work surface. There you go. And then I'm going to dab some of this off. Now I'm going to pause here. I'm going to run over to my heat tool and make sure this is completely dry before we go on to the next step. So hang on, I'll be right and I'm back and it's completely dry. So let me close these up because you know I'm going to put my fingers in it. Set those aside. Now I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus and I've got it all hooked up with the lighthouse. Put on my magnet to hold it. And the first one I'm going to start off with is Night of Navy. Ink that up. Normally I would recommend putting the case underneath, but I have the second step already, second step stamp already positioned. So I can't use that. Good press, let's see. A little bit more. That should do it. Give it a good press. Let's see. One more. That's why I like Stamparatus. If you don't get it the first time, you can always come back if you haven't moved the paper. Keep going. Ah, oh, that's good. All right, let me wipe this off. And all I'm going to do is take the door, gazoon tight, Randy, that was my husband, switch the door around, and now the second layer to the lighthouse is all ready to go. And I'm going to be using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. that up and it should be lined up perfectly a 
little bit more. Really give it some CPR so we can see the definition. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Clean this off. I'm going to take this door off and each of the stamp rashes come with two doors. So the second door I have set up the sand. Now I need to take my little corner piece out or not. There we go. And then I used purple tape to show where my cardstock is. Whoops, and I just moved it. So now it's nice and positioned. A little off, but we can fix that. There we go. And I'm going to come in and use soft suede for the sand. Ink that up. More CPR. Pick it up. Haha, <laughs> I like it. Okay. Now, don't forget to clean off your magnet. Because if you don't, you could transfer that to another project where you don't want it transferred. So let me wipe this off. There we go. And now we can get this out of the way. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. You have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine. And I'm just going to use the Momento Black. How about right here? And I'm going to really press. And there we go. Ooh, pretty. Wipe this off. Cover this up because my hand's going to be going into it next. Close this up. Now, let's add some sparkle. I've got Wink of Stella. And I'm going to color in my lighthouse. Squeeze a little bit. There we go. Now we got some sparkle coming. Okay. And of course, we need our bling. I'm going to be using a, the Take a Pick tool and add a bunch. Let's see, add a couple up here. And then one down here. I think that'll work. All right, let's put this card together. Now this was, let me measure, this was four and three quarters by three and a half. And I'm going to put it on Knight of Navy. Get my stamp and seal here. Remember, pull and flick towards you. And this is cut at five by three and three quarters. There we go. And then the base is very vanilla. I know it's not whisper white. <laughs> and cut at five and a half, folded at four and a quarter. Let's add some more stamp and seal. And place that on top. And there you have it, little loose water coloring that has a huge impact. Well, I hope you enjoyed having this crafting experience with the civil engineer. Please subscribe, like, and share, and leave me some comments of what else you would like to see. And like I said before, in the description, we'll have a list of all the supplies that I use. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.